Welcome to Viking Football with head coach Bruce Barnum as Portland State is going to go out on the road this week after three straight home games. The Vikings playing at Idaho on Saturday. It's a noon kickoff from the Kibbe Dome in Moscow, Idaho. You can watch the game on ESPN+. Plus. Coach, uh, it gets no easier. It's your fourth Big Sky Conference game of the season. The Idaho Vandals will be your third nationally ranked Big Sky opponent. Uh, it's tough every week in the big sky, isn't it? It is, and we've talked about that, Mike. And X, X got them playing well. You know, they're playing with confidence. Uh, they, they won a, a big game last week, and, you know, they're playing hard. So uh, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, but, uh, again, uh, we'll be over there at high noon Saturday trying to get, give the Vandals a game. All right, and as we look back at last week, uh, a loss to the Weber State Wildcats, ranked sixth in the nation. They're now ranked fifth in the nation. And, Coach, I know uh, you weren't pleased with the performance uh, offensively, defensively. Weber State, an extremely talented team. We certainly saw that. They've really grown up since last year. Um, what are you trying to do with your team in terms of transitioning away from that loss after a couple of good weeks of play uh, to get ready for Idaho? Well, you know, kudos to Weaver. They're clicking on all cylinders right now. Uh, they're playing well, uh, making plays. Uh, but uh, short memory, it's a football season, uh, Mike. Uh, that one closes Sunday. Um, and our next opponent, we got six more. We'll take them one at a time and uh, we'll get on a bus uh, this week, Friday morning. We're going to head over there and new game plan, new, you know, uh, refreshed attitude and, and get after the Vandals. All right, and as we look at the Vikings uh, dealing with a lot of injuries on defense, you missed uh, four starters who, who were projected to start last week, weren't able to play uh, on offense. Uh, I've had a little trouble getting a consistent running game going, and that's because you've had some running backs in and out of the lineup. You're the offensive guy. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the challenges there of getting your, your uh, running game more consistent. You're, you're right, Mike. We have to be able to run the football. We can't sit back and you know, past 87 times in the football game, but um, it's been kind of a who's available, uh, but we have some guys back this week and we'll make some tweaks and um, put some things together. But we know when we're best, we're at 50-50, run the pass. Uh, we haven't been that. Uh, everybody uh, on the offensive line, backfield and receivers, everybody on offense knows we have to be able to run the football better than we are right now. So uh, it's a focus. Um, it was, uh, it, it's been um, a focus all through, but after last week's performance, last two weeks' performance, that part of our game has to get going. All right, and as we look at the Idaho defense, uh, very talented. Portland State has already played the number one and number two defenses in the Big Sky, Montana and Weber State. Turns out Idaho is the third best based on uh, yards allowed and turnovers forced. They have a tremendous uh, turnover margin, and you touch on that every week. They force 12 turnovers, only given up three. What are you, what are your challenges uh, against that Idaho defense? Um, again, they're they're in the right spot. They mix up the coverages. They're playing hard. Uh, they got a couple transfers uh, that are playing well. They got 41 and a defensive end um, who's you know he's a dynamic football player. Um, uh, but they have others. They got two. Um, their guy in the middle and uh, but all around they're all making plays uh, and when you play with confidence and energy like that you know we have to make sure we show up uh, being the underdog uh, at their house uh, and, and focus on what we need to do don't make mistakes don't turn the football over but they're very efficient on offense um, and they're getting to the ball on defense so you know put that together but uh, my guys are working hard. I like how we came out today. This is Tuesday, our first practice. We have Mondays off. Um, but I, I like the attitude. I like the focus of what my guys are doing uh, to prepare for this week. All right, and you touched on it. They've gotten very consistent on offense. The thing that I noticed when I look at it, extremely balanced run to pass, just like Weber State was. Uh, is that the big difference uh, for Idaho this year? Because they've taken a giant leap from where they were last year to this year, now nationally ranked 17th in the nation, currently undefeated in the Big Sky. What's the difference for the Vandals? Their quarterback is playing very efficiently. Um, he's not turning the football over. He's, you know, when he's in trouble, he's stepping up, making plays. Um, he's fun to watch, you know. Um, so um, it, it, your trigger man means a lot, and their guy is playing really well right now. And that's Giovanni McCoy. He throws it well. He's got a couple of uh, big backs that are producing a lot of yards there. So it'll be a challenge for the Viking defense. 
Uh, Coach, as we now uh, get ready for the game, I know you'll talk about how important turnovers are, uh, winning the turnover battle, but but what's it going to take for the Vikings uh, to be clicking on all cylinders this Saturday? What's what's the keynote for this week? Uh, field position, obviously, Mike. We, we, we have to make them punt, period. Uh, get our defense running the football uh, better than what I saw last week. I've addressed that with them. Um, and, and offensively, we need to be more efficient and staying ahead of the chains. You know, we talked about it last week and we failed. You know, uh, Weaver State's got – going into that game, they had 41 – uh, third and longs, and we added to that plot instead of the third and shorts. Uh, Coach, we're getting on the bus Friday morning, 9 a.m. It's a, it's a long drive. Some movies will be pulled out. What do you got? You know, I put other people in charge of it, but, you know, I, I'm guessing um, the classics will be there, the classics by uh, uh, the great outdoors, Jaws, you know, some that, you know, uh, everybody's seen or wants to see. I'm sure those will show up. It's always the, uh, uh, don't blame it on me, Ricky, but the Tal Talladega Knights showed up on bus three. That's a good one. We saw Bad News Bears, I think, on the last bus trip. We did. Um, the new one, though, not the, the old one. one. Yeah, yeah. The new one. Um, again, uh, story of the underdog showing up at Mighty Vandal Land. So uh, we'll do that, maybe throw in a Caddyshack, you know, just to show them underdog theme. Uh, and again, high noon. ESPN Plus, let's give it a roll. All right, there it is. We're going to be on the Barney bus. We're going to be the Bad News Bears. We're going to be the underdogs. What You name it. The Vikings are going to Moscow, Idaho for a Big Sky Conference football game. Again, noon Saturday. Watch it on ESPN Plus. For all your information on Vikings football, go to govikes.com.